In our increasingly connected world, reliable and high-speed internet access has become a necessity for both individuals and businesses. However, there are still vast areas around the globe where traditional internet infrastructure is either unavailable or inefficient. In this digital age, bridging the digital divide is crucial for social and economic progress. SpakeX's Starlink project has emerged as a groundbreaking solution to this challenge. This video will delve into the intricacies of how Starlink works, exploring the technology, its impact on global connectivity, and the potential implications for the future. The birth of Starlink, SpaceX, founded by Elon Musk, is known for pushing the boundaries of space exploration and technology. In 2015, SpaceX unveiled its ambitious plan to launch a constellation of thousands of small satellites into low Earth orbit to provide global internet coverage. This ambitious project came to be known as Starlink. The Starlink constellation consists of thousands of small, low-cost satellites designed to orbit the Earth at altitudes ranging from 340 kilometers to 1200 kilometers. These satellites are placed in orbits that enable them to create a network of coverage across the entire planet. But how exactly do these satellites provide internet access to remote and underserved areas? Satellite technology. To understand how Starlink works, we must first comprehend the fundamental technology behind satellite internet. Traditional satellite internet relies on a few large geostationary satellites orbiting at a much higher altitude than Starlink's low Earth orbit satellites. These geostationary satellites are positioned over fixed points on the Earth's surface, providing internet connectivity to specific regions. Starlink takes a different approach. Instead of a few large high altitude satellites, it deploys a vast constellation of smaller satellites in low Earth orbit. This offers several advantages, including reduced latency and increased bandwidth. The proximity of Starlink's low Earth orbit satellites to the Earth's surface significantly reduces the time it takes for data to travel to and from the satellites. In contrast, geostationary satellites being much farther away introduce noticeable latency or delay in internet communication. With thousands of satellites working in unison, Starlink can provide higher bandwidth connections to users on the ground. This enables faster download and upload speeds crucial for activities such as streaming, video conferencing and online gaming. Satellite constellation and coverage. The key to Starlink's global coverage lies in the sheer number of satellites in its constellation. As of August 2023, SpaceX had launched over 5,000 Starlink satellites and had plans to expand to tens of thousands. These satellites form a network that can beam internet signals directly to user terminals on the ground to provide continuous coverage. Starlink satellites are organized into multiple orbital shells with each shell consisting of satellites at a specific altitude and inclination. This strategic arrangement ensures that even in remote or polar regions, at least one satellite is visible in the sky at all times, minimizing coverage gaps. User terminals, Starlink provides its internet service to users, to users through specialized user terminals, sometimes referred to as DISHI or phased array antennas. These user terminals are critical components of the Starlink ecosystem. The user terminal includes a flat phased array antenna, which is designed to automatically align itself with the nearest Starlink satellite. This self-alignment capability makes it user-friendly as customers do not need to manually adjust the antenna to establish a connection. Alongside the DISHI antenna, users also receive a modem that connects to the antenna. This modem acts as a bridge between the antenna and the user's devices, such as computers, routers, and smartphones. The user terminal requires a power source, typically from an electrical outlet. However, it can also be powered by alternative sources like solar panels or batteries making it suitable for use in remote areas. The user terminals are designed to be easy to set up, even for individuals with little technical expertise. This plug and play approach is vital for making internet access accessible to a wide range of users, including those in rural and underserved regions. How Starlink provides internet. Now that we understand the components of the Starlink system, let's explore how it provides internet access to users. 
The user terminal's phased array antenna communicates with the nearest Starlink satellites in low Earth orbit. These satellites relay data signals between the user's terminal and SpaceX ground stations. SpaceX has built a network of ground stations around the world to support the Starlink constellation. These ground stations act as gateways between the satellites and the Internet's terrestrial infrastructure. They are responsible for routing data traffic to and from the satellites. Once data reaches a ground station, it is seamlessly integrated into the global Internet infrastructure. This allows users to access websites, stream content, send emails and perform other online activities just like they would with traditional internet service. The combination of low Earth orbit satellites and strategically located ground stations minimises latency, making Starlink suitable for real-time applications like online gaming and video conferencing. As the user or their vehicle moves, the phased array antenna on the user terminal continuously tracks the satellites maintaining a stable internet connection. This mobility feature is particularly valuable for those in remote areas or on the go. Addressing global connectivity challenges, the deployment of Starlink has the potential to address several significant challenges in global internet connectivity. Starlink satellite-based internet can reach even the most remote and underserved areas where traditional internet infrastructure is economically unviable to deploy. This has the potential to bridge the digital divide, allowing people in rural regions to access educational resources, telemedicine and economic opportunities. In the event of natural disasters or infrastructure failures that disrupt traditional internet services, Starlink satellite network can provide a reliable backup connection, ensuring that critical communication and information flow are not disrupted. Many developing countries lack the necessary infrastructure for widespread internet access. Starlink can offer an affordable and scalable solution to bring the benefits of the internet to these regions, spurring economic development. Starlink's ability to provide continuous internet coverage, even on moving vehicles and vessels, can revolutionise global connectivity for transportation, shipping and aviation industries. Researchers and scientists in remote field locations can benefit from Starlink's connectivity, enabling them to conduct experiments, collect data, and communicate with their colleagues and institutions. Challenges and concerns. While Starlink holds great promise, it also faces several challenges and concerns. With thousands of satellites in orbit, there is a growing concern about space debris and the potential for collisions. SpaceX has been actively working on collision avoidance and end-of-life disposal strategies to mitigate this risk. The deployment of satellite constellations like Starlink involves navigating complex regulatory environments, including spectrum allocation and orbital debris management, which vary from country to country. The manufacturing launch and operation of satellites have environmental impacts. Reducing the carbon footprint of these activities is a concern for environmentally conscious consumers. While Starlink aims to offer affordable internet access, the initial cost of user terminals and monthly subscription fees may still be a barrier for some individuals and communities. SpaceX's Starlink project represents a significant step towards achieving global internet connectivity. By leveraging a vast constellation of low Earth orbit satellites and user-friendly equipment, Starlink has the potential to bring high-speed internet to remote and underserved areas, bridge the digital divide and support a wide range of applications from disaster recovery to scientific research. However, the success of Starlink also hinges on addressing technical, regulatory and environmental challenges. As the project continues to evolve, it is imperative for SpaceX and the global community to work collaboratively to ensure that the benefits of Starlink are realised while mitigating any negative impacts. In conclusion, Starlink is a testament to human innovation and our determination to connect the world. No matter how remote or challenging the terrain, its ongoing development and deployment mark a significant milestone in the quest for universal access to the internet, with far-reaching implications for the future of global communication and connectivity. The future of Starlink and beyond. As we look ahead, it's essential to consider the potential future developments and implications of Starlink. SpaceX continues to launch batches of Starlink satellites with plans to expand coverage to more countries and regions. This expansion will further reduce the digital divide and provide internet access to millions of people who were previously left in the dark. 
with economies of scale and technological advancements, Starlink aims to reduce the cost of user terminals and subscription fees. This affordability will make the service accessible to even more individuals and communities. Starlink has spurred interest in the satellite internet industry, leading to the development of competing constellations by other companies. This competition could result in more choices for consumers and potentially even lower prices. As satellite internet becomes more prevalent, regulatory bodies will need to adapt and establish international guidelines for managing orbital traffic, spectrum allocation and space debris mitigation. Addressing the environmental impact of satellite constellations will become increasingly important. Companies like SpaceX are exploring ways to minimise their carbon footprint, both in satellite manufacturing and launch operations. Beyond providing internet access, the technology developed for Starlink could have other applications. It could support scientific research, space exploration, and even serve as the backbone for future lunar and Martian colonies. Given the global nature of satellite internet, international collaboration will be crucial. Countries and organisations will need to work together to ensure equitable access, address regulatory issues and manage space traffic responsibly. In conclusion, the journey of Starlink from concept to reality represents a remarkable chapter in the ongoing human quest for connectivity. It holds the promise of transforming the lives of billions of people by breaking down barriers to education, healthcare, business and communication. However, realising this potential will require continued innovation, responsible management of space resources and cooperation on a global scale. As Starlink continues to evolve, it reminds us of the boundless possibilities that arise when technology is harnessed to address the most pressing challenges of our time. The story of Starlink is not just about providing internet access. It's about connecting people, fostering progress, and creating a brighter future for all of humanity.